breaking, FBI makes illegal move against Trump. Supporters of President Donald Trump have long suspected that he faces deep resistance in Washington, D.C. One of the biggest sources of resistance is the deep state, which is led by the FBI. This week, for the third time in a row, the FBI has refused to hand over subpoena documents relating to the mostly debunked Trump dossier. So far, both the FBI and the Justice Department have been saying no to the House Intelligence Committee. According to the Gateway Pundit. This is not only illegal, but it raises questions about the much vaunted independence of the FBI. So far this week, the top law enforcement agency in the nation has received a black eye. On Monday, former Trump campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, had had his phone lines tapped by the FBI. Some of these taped conversations could very well have included President Trump. So far, it appears that the outgoing Obama administration used a secret court order to have Manafort spied on. One of the driving forces behind all of this deep state intrigue is the now widely discredited Trump dossier that allegedly insinuates or proves that President Trump is being blackmailed by Russian intelligence services. This dossier was compiled by former MI6 agent Christopher Steele. Steele now works with opposition research organization Fusion GPS. Fusion GPS also has ties to the communist dictatorship in Venezuela and to the Russian lawyer who seemingly set a trap for Donald Trump Jr. during a suspicious looking meeting last year. According to the Washington Examiner, House Committee Chairman Devin Nunes, RCA, originally set a September 1 deadline for production of the dossier documents. The FBI did not comply. Nunes then extended the deadline to September 14. The FBI did not comply. Then, Nunes extended the deadline again, to September 22. Now, again, the FBI has not complied. While much of the Trump dossier is laughable, it has influenced public policy. For instance, before being fired, FBI Director James Comey cited the dossier in several briefings. Furthermore, now that Robert Mueller is investigating some of President Trump's decisions, including the firing of Comey, the highly salacious dossier is enjoying a second life. Unless the full contents of this dossier is turned over to the House Intelligence Committee, then one is only left with the impression that the FBI is trying, desperately, to use this dossier as some kind of battering ram against the Trump White House. This story highlights not only the insidious power of groups like Fusion GPS, but also the fact that in today's Washington, transparency is just a nice word that means nothing. If the Trump dossier is really so explosive, then why keep it hidden from the light of day? The Democrats have made a devil's bargain with the deep state out of their sheer hatred of Donald Trump. If the deep state somehow wins this war, then expect the Democrats to suffer under an empowered intelligence bureaucracy regime. The deep state wants to keep itself in power, and right now Donald Trump is a threat to that authority.